The camp is growing at Bellingham's Civic Field Complex. Tents sprawling, trash piling up. Lester Johnstone runs a handyman company right across the street and sees it all every day. And it's just mainly a safety issue is what my main concern is. The camp sits directly across the street from a business park where parents drop their kids for preschool and gymnastics. Many worry about the new neighbors across the street. People walking around acting erratic with axes. I've seen people throwing knives at trees. Um, again, I've seen we've, uh, our admin saw a gentleman expose himself. <laughs> The camp is a continuation of this occupation outside Bellingham City Hall that went on for nearly three months. Demonstrators are demanding Bellingham provide housing for all of the city's homeless. Nine community groups sent this letter to the city condemning the way it's handled the homeless issue, calling for a ban on homeless camp sweeps. Liz Darrow is with Community to Community, critical of the way the city chose to clear the camp. I was shocked. I've never seen that level of militarized police presence. And it doesn't make sense that you would need that level of force um, for our community's most vulnerable people. But Bellingham's mayor now threatens a new sweep, calling the current camp an immediate risk to public health and safety. Meantime, the city appears to be right back where it started. Another large encampment on public property and another confrontation likely. Seems like we're kind of treading water. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything's really getting resolved. It just seems like we're kind of doing the same thing over and over again. Scars from the protests remain here at City Hall, a daily reminder to those inside that this problem isn't going away anytime soon. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. So we asked Bellingham Mayor Seth Fleetwood for an interview about the camp today. Instead, we received an email stating, we never said there was a planned dispersal action today. We do not provide details of our operations, especially knowing there are hostile protesters who wish to disrupt our efforts.